So we got a 1500 pound dry weight RV trailer, which is the lightest one they have in inventory. We're gonna talk about it today. It's called a Tiger Moth. And is that the brand or is that the... So Tiger Moth Taxa. is the model. It's made by Taxa. It's made yep. by Taxa Outdoors called a yep. Tiger Moth. Check this out. We're back at Outback RV in Denton, Texas. And we're gonna talk with Robert here about this Tiger Moth model, which again is 1,500 pounds dry weight, very lightweight trailer, very easy to pull, and um, we're gonna learn about it today. So yes, cool, sir. take us through it. All right, so a little bit about Taxa. Uh, they're actually manufactured in uh, Houston. Okay, okay. Which is really nice. That's uh, good. Not too far away from us. Yeah. Um, the owner of the company, the president of the company, Garrett, uh, he was actually a, an ex NASA engineer. Really? So uh, if you're noticing something about the trailer, if you're noticing the aerospace look, yeah. that's where that comes okay. from. Very unique looking trailer. Okay. That is, yeah, okay. I assume this all folds down into a single bed. Like it all that. folds down, and it's even yeah. easier than that. This will slide, you'll just take the leg up. This will slide forward. Oh, and nice. this whole inside will turn into one big bed. Okay, okay. Now a little bit about the outside of the trailer. Mm -hmm. uh, we can start with the kitchen. Sure. Your Tiger Moth will come with a two burner propane stove, which you can just fold up and move anywhere. Right underneath here, we actually have some storage. Okay. So, this is our Primus <laughs> stove that we use. Okay. And then again, just... Does that come with it or no? It does, yeah. Everything does. you see okay. is included. Everything's included. Okay. Yes, sir. Okay, good. Yep, a little bit of storage here. As you can see, we have a little bit of uh, fresh water, about five gallons of uh, fresh water storage right here. Yep. You can turn this on. We have our cutting board, which again, more storage underneath. Mm-hmm. And in this year, in the 2022 models, we have this little slide out tray, which you have your cutting board on top and you have a little sink area. So gotcha. if you wanted to use the sink, you'll slide it underneath here. You can use it with the with your jerry can there. This all comes out, yeah. drains right into the ground. Easy to, easy to wash. Very easy. Yep. Okay. And the whole trailer is super solid. Everything is made to be, you know, you can step on everything. Uh, if you needed to get to the roof, you can step on this. It's all, this is all metal. Uh, this, again, this is our standard Tiger Moth. So yep. a, a few differences between the standard and uh, Overland Tiger Moth. Yeah. Mainly uh, with the standard, you, uh, you, you'll get normal smaller tires mm -hmm. uh, compared to the larger uh, off-road tires that the Overland model gets. Okay. Uh, this is also a straight axle. Uh, the Overland model will have the independent timber and suspension. Sure. Um, Let's see what else. Uh, you also get a normal ball hitch with this model. The Overland model will have uh, uh, will have the lock and roll uh, articulating hitch. You can see the difference between the two hitches right there. This this one we're not talking about today has an articulating hitch, and this one has a standard ball hitch right there. So that's what. If you see one and don't understand what it is, that's the difference. That's right. Uh, you have your spare tire here, so mm -hmm. again, uh, pretty useful right here. You have your uh, storage box on the front. Another cool thing about the Tiger Moth, even though it's it's small, uh, we still included, you know, we're in Texas, so we still included <laughs> an AC right. unit. Yeah. We gotta have AC. Oh yeah. So it's super important there. Uh, again, this is, this plugs into uh, 30 amp service, so if you have access mm -hmm. to that, you can plug it into 30 amps, start charging it. Mm -hmm. You also have your uh, solar plug-in right here, so if you have any solar blankets or anything mm -hmm. like that, it just plugs in right here. Now tell me about the solar, because I've talked about this in other episodes before. Does it have a built-in charge controller? Uh, it does not. So okay. you'll need to get so some need... uh, ZAMP uh, solar chargers usually. Right. This is a ZAMP plug okay. uh, with the controller on uh, With the controller on the already, already on, the, on the panel itself. Okay. That's correct. Okay. Yeah. All right, uh, good. Now over here we have some more storage space where you can tie all kinds of things down. Uh, mainly this is for a fridge. So if you wanted to bring a 12 oh. volt fridge with you, you can strap it down right here mm -hmm. and you have your 12 volt plug right here. A really cool part, we have the Thule uh, rooftop tent if you needed to sleep uh, two more people mm -hmm. so this will sleep four people in total so two inside two in the rooftop tent gotcha and then back to the trailer here back to the to the back of the trailer we have our uh, again Thule uh, pull out awning yes so if you wanted okay. a little bit of shade right over your kitchen mm -hmm. that's where that goes um, now is that freestanding or does it come with poles you have to put on the ground it does come with poles okay yep. okay 
All right. Now we have the two doors, and again, you can open both doors up, get a lot more space. Um, our units uh, come with the soft goods package, which will come with a, uh, with a mesh for the door, so you don't have any flies or bugs getting in there. Which okay. Is, Pretty useful. Yeah, for sure. Uh, yeah, in Texas, for yeah. sure. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the whole trailer is there. There's so many use cases for it. Uh -huh. uh, if you had, if you wanted to store things, uh, there's space for carabiners everywhere, so you can strap things pretty yep. much anywhere. Uh, and you can kind of see that they have one right there. Uh, yes. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. The table is really easy to maneuver. Mm -hmm. um, and then again, storage right underneath there. If you want to take a peek. Yep. And then the really cool thing, all of this can be folded up mm -hmm. and held up. Same with the other side right there. Uh, same with the table leg, you can remove this. So if you needed to put any uh, bicycles in here, even, even a motorcycle, oh, you, can, yeah. you can store it in here. Again, you can see your AC unit yep. right in there, a little window on the side. Uh, you can read your battery voltage mm -hmm. right there. Uh, that big red knob right there, that's the battery disconnect. Yeah. So if you didn't want to drain your battery, you can disconnect it right sure. there. And we have a little fan, of course, right here that you can pull down and turn on. Yeah. If you wanted to keep the moisture out of the trailer. Okay. Now this doesn't have an inverter, right? No inverter okay. on this. Okay. So you'd have to be plugged into shore power to use the outlets in there. Uh, that's to correct. Use the air, yeah, air the, conditioner. The air conditioner. Yeah. 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 Or okay. or a generator. Yeah. Which, yeah. Yeah. Generator, of course. Yeah. Uh, I, yeah. I would recommend if you're overlanding. Yes. Uh, now a really cool thing about it is the little light switches here. We have our all our lights here, mm -hmm. and as you can see. We have some red lights over there in the back. Uh, oh yeah. Which are, uh, the red light is a lot easier on your eyes, especially at nighttime, mm -hmm. which does help a lot. And again, if you want some more light, we have our window on this door. Very similar to the Dweller, shatterproof windows. Yeah. Day and night shades. Awesome, so that, that whole thing closes down. That's right, yeah. And, uh, and then the back closes up, yeah. Yeah, and it's all air assisted, so. Yeah. Pretty easy. If you wanted to get that open, pull on both latches, whole thing just huh. comes up. Yeah. And again, only right around 1,500 pounds. So if yeah. you had a Jeep, uh, Forerunners, things like that, right? Super easy to do. Super so. easy to do. Cool. All right. Once again, we're at Outback RV in Denton, Texas. This is the Tiger Moth by Taxa Outdoors, and it's made in Texas. You can't go wrong with that. That's right. So check the links in the description below, and thanks for watching.